uh, Amoris Laetitia reminds us very clearly that this is a document regarding the joy, the joy of love, the joy of happiness, the joy of being so positive and open. And I know for years as a curate in Mullingar on the marriage preparation team, in Drogheda occasionally helping on marriage preparation courses, and now in my role as president of Accord, I realise a marriage course has to be a very happy occasion for a couple who see it as having to do the course. But for me, it's much more important that they enjoy the course. And Amor Satizzi is all about the joy of love. I'm still reading it. It's, it's a splendid read. But Pope Francis reminds us again and again and again, don't rush the text. And I want to assure him, I'm not rushing it because so many other things come on the desk, but I'm enjoying it. And that's more important. A marriage course, I think it says to me, it must be an enjoyable course. So we've got to perhaps reframe our courses in the light of reading Amoris Laetitia. I wouldn't like to see a, 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 every couple reading it because it's not easily read. I think we have to be reasonable about this. It's, 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 it's not maybe as user-friendly as, as some of the other discourses that Pope Francis has, has released. Chapter 4 should be compulsory reading for every couple. It's on love in marriage and it breaks down the beautiful lines of St. Paul. Love is patient, love is kind, love is gentle. Love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. What does this mean for the couple getting married? And I want to also include the couples who are married a number of years, because what Francis says to us, we've got to mind couples in their early years of the sacrament of marriage. We've got to accompany them. Synod is a journey of accompaniment to a goal. We've got to make that synodal journey with couples in marriage. <laughs>